The moment that uh, the process of um, upgrading is finished, uh, what we want to do, we go through the installation of the, the VISO control panel and I will show you how easily you can install the VISTA control panel. Um, I think for that one we need an absolutely internet um, because it's an online installation uh, tool. Otherwise you have to have the VISTA control panel installed already on Ubuntu server or CentOS or any other version of Linux that you want to use. I mean, any other distro that you want to use. This should be on an image together. It means it's it should be attached on it in a way it's already installed. Especially on the final projects, they are already installed on the on the server already because there you don't have an access to the internet and the final projects and you have to do it by your own everything and, uh, that's why I think we need a lot of uh, time a lot enough time to to just um, work on it and uh, have enough exercises and of Deutsch Eggman Genug Übungen. So that you can uh, pass the exam successfully. Oh, this is uh, taking a long time. And this is the only thing that I don't like, especially when I'm recording a video. And uh, in the meantime, what we are going to do is I have installed a, a Mozilla Firefox here and I want to open the Firefox and when you open the Firefox, what you have to do is you, are, you will, excuse me. I want to do it like this so that we can see. Uh, we write down here that um, Vista CP uh, dot com slash slash um, install, and then we enter, and we are going directly to the page to the web page of uh, Vista CP. As you can see here, it's written that connect to your server as root via SSH or secure shield. And my server is still upgrading. I hope it's finished just soon. We are already inside the secure shield. This video is getting a long time, I'm sure about this. It will go up to 15 minutes and what shall I do? So now the process of uh, installation of the upgrades are complete. As you can see here, we are, this is ended up and now we are in the conclusion. I mean, the thing that we have to do now is we have to. The Vesta CP says here that connect to your server as root via SSH. It means that we have to connect to our server as root. Now I'm not root, I just want to go to root. And I say su, so it means super user, it means root user. And I put a password inside. I hope that this works. Yeah, because I have to write a sudo su. Maybe this one. Yeah, this worked. Sudo su. Super user do super user. It means that c su. It means super user d o do perform. Super user do super user. It means that 
we want to double right down this one so that we can get inside the road user and now what i have to do i just i've opened the website and i just write down i just go and copy this code from here i copy it and i am coming inside the the the, the SSH and I right click the mouse then it's automatically pasted here then I put enter and I press enter now this is working like this and now the second thing that I have to do I just want to go and copy this one the Bosch and I copy this one and I'm coming here again and I'm writing I'm I just right click and I paste it uh, as you can see that now we are going we are now able to Install the Vista control panel. It's written here already. The logo is here. You know as you can see this is the See the Vista CP or the Vista control panel Now we are going to install the Vista control panel and here it asks that if you want to Would you like to continue then we say yes? We press the Y then we press enter then please enter admin email address. In here, I recommend you to put your own email address so that you can recover the password and the staff if you are uh, later facing a problem, I mean. I put my own password and mail server. And here, I think I have to write down my local lap dot local I just write down the, the domain that I have and now the process of installation takes almost 15 to 20 minutes I let this one to work out and then we come back Well, I'm still uh, waiting uh, for the installation uh, as I said it takes a little bit longer so that installation could be complete and uh, when installation is completed then I will uh, um, start to record the video again and you will uh, see the, what I'm going what I'm gonna do uh, I mean with the At the conclusion of the, at the conclusion of the installation of the Vista control panel on on uh, Ubuntu server, and I will maybe show you on a, a surprise. <laughs> um, I'm a little tired, and it's late at night. And I'm awake because um, since some weeks I have uh, put a lot of pressure in my studies and I uh, want to study more and I, was, I, I, I want to study a lot and uh, because I think it's a very um, sensitive time for me it's very principled it's very fundamental it's 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 really uh, I uh, I need it. I I would like to study these days. Okay, now this one, the, hopefully the installation is complete. And as you can see, it's written here that congratulations, you have just successfully installed Vista Control Panel. And uh, here is the IP that is given for us. And here is the username. And here is the password. And um, we hope that you enjoy your installation of Vista. Please feel free to contact us anytime if you have any questions. Thank you. And signs really yours, Vista.com team. So now what I have to do is I want to copy this. This one, we need it always. Either take a picture of it with your telephone or whatever you use with a camera or if you want to you can also make a screen um, um, snipping you can also take a screenshot with snipping or whatever that you want to use 
and you can do for example if i want to use sweeping i can just do it like this Tuck. see if i want to save this file then i have to but i don't want to use sweeping because i have already i uh, got the, the i have already copied this so now the most important thing that in here to know is that we got an IP address here because our server has already an IP address and that IP address is 10.10.10.100 that is the, the IP address that we have uh, set it up, we have configured it to our server and now I, I use this IP address to access the GUI we did this installation, this stuff, all because to be able to access the GUI graphical user interface of Vista control panel. And now I'm writing down the 8083 here, in here. And now I copy this one and I go to the Mozilla Firefox and I paste it down here and I enter when I enter it's um, it's a security question here we say a writer that means just go further and accept here and on fourth fan it means that accept and go further and username you see our username is admin and this is our password we copy this password like this and we write down here admin and we write wait, 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 just uh, cool now as you can see this is the 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 vista control panel interface gui interface from here we can do all the configurations we can create we can create um, user email accounts in Thunderbird and Thunderbird and whatever uh, email server that you are using or whatever facility that you are using, external or whatever. And now all of this installation for for how much? Forty five minutes. We we did this installation to to in order to be able to access this interface. Now here is everything, the options are just turned on and we are able to access all the options here and and uh, this is the IP uh, that we have set it up and we have configured and this IP is translated into this IP address so that we, can, we could be able to access the internet and whatever, that was the end of the lesson that was that was the end of the tutorial here uh, when you are doing what i was doing and you perform the way that i did you will get this interface and now in the second lesson or in another lesson we will explain that how can we create the email accounts and how can we uh, configure inside the Vista control panel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was not boring for you and I hope you could use it and your whatever you want to do. Uh, if you were not, as long as you were not doing something, something creepy with it, I'm sure it's not something that we can do something creepy, but I hope that it would be useful for you. Thank you very much.